This week I read how to create wealth investing in real estate by Grant Cardone. <coughs> Grant Cardone is a New York Times best-selling author. Uh, you probably know him from social media. He has written a lot of books. I think uh, now I have read at least almost all of his books. I think there's one that I haven't read, uh, but all the other ones I have read. And he writes on sales and everything, but this book is about real estate investing. Grant Cardone, I think, has right now over a billion uh, dollars in real estate. He owns a lot of units. And this was a great book. Investing is very important. You ju can just work your whole life and uh, not invest in passive income flows. And by the way, if you want this book, you can order it from Amazon. I have a link in the, a link in the description so you can just order it to your home. And let's begin with the summary of best five ideas. So uh, number one is that uh, if it has one door, leave in it. Don't invest in it. Um, you don't want to invest in just one door. You, he talked about in the early, earlier in the book, in the very beginning, how real estate investors, they can, um, they can have cash, a positive cash flow even if 10% of their units are vacant. So what happens if you only buy one unit is that if you rent it to someone, uh, then you just need to be fixing it all the time and the tenant moves out. That was his mistake at first, Grant Cardone. He bought one uh, unit or one like single family home. And then they just bother him all the time. We're calling about the, uh, the three T's, the, what, what it's uh, toilets, termites, and uh, something else was it? Was it? Uh, I don't remember what what is the third one. But anyways, he needed to fix all the like plumbing and everything and toilets and all the time was has, had some uh, had all kinds of expenses. And then the tenants just move it out like they didn't respect at all all the work he d did for them. So he realized that one door doesn't really work. You need multiple. Uh, multiple uh, doors. I think what he's talking about usually is like 16 at minimum. You want to buy it at, uh, at once and then you can have cash flow from the other tenants even if like 10 person or some like let's say two or one uh, moves out. So that's very important. Um, and second point is that single family homes they are not good investments. Uh, like a house is a terrible investment because you need to have all these fixes, you need to fix the roof, the windows, the doors and uh, the plumbing and everything. It's just a cost really, uh, especially an opportunity cost because you have your, uh, your capital or your equity uh, sitting in that house and you cannot invest it in something that would uh, create passive income. And also uh, the problem with like moving into a house is that now you're stuck there, you're, you're also missing opportunities because you cannot move to this other city where you go offer it a job or something. You cannot move because you're stuck in the home. So don't buy a house. That's the second uh, lesson from this book. Now, third is that um, what Warren Buffett also talks about all the time. Don't lose money. You don't want to lose money in real estate investing. Um, get cash flow while you wait and get it every month. You want to get money from your investments every month. Fourth idea is that um, if a deal is easy to get, it's probably not very valuable. So you want to buy, uh, buy um, deals that are very wanted, like everybody is uh, looking at them and interested, because then it's also easier to sell the deal if you need to, because there will be more interested buyers and it's more valuable in the buyer's eyes. And then fifth is that income to rent ratio is a very important metric. So the area needs to have people who earn enough income to pay the rents. If, so if the rents are very high, but there is not much income, people work just uh, on minimum, minimum wage, then nobody's going to re rent the apartment. So you need to buy units at an area where you can charge the rent because there is higher income earning people there. So there's a lot more knowledge in this book. I highly recommend reading it, but those are my favorite five ideas. Order this book from Amazon. Also subscribe to this channel so you see next week's book summary. And hit thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon.